So you've installed the Facebook Pixel with Google Tag Manager and now you're wondering why is there an AppSpot.com in my Facebook Ads account when you look at the activity of your Pixel. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of this AppSpot.com with the help of a little bit of JavaScript that we're gonna implement in your Google Tag Manager account. All and more coming up right after this. And today our journey starts in Facebook ads and here I'm in my Facebook pixel which I have installed on measureschool.com and when I go to this activity tab I see all the events that are happening. Now sometimes I see that the referring URL is actually gtmmsrapsplot.com and my gtm ID in the back but no more information is transmitted. Now this might bother you because you have compared this data to your analytics or your backend system and found out that these are not real users. So how does that actually happen? Well, if you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website and through that the Facebook Pixel setup, so we have that here and in our Google Tag Manager account, if you wanna see how we set this up, then check out our video on the Facebook Pixel that we did a while ago. So all the different codes get now deployed on our website. And we have tested it and it works fine so far in our Pixel Helper. So the data gets transferred normally. But how does this app spot error actually happen? Well, this is really hard to demonstrate for me, but it's basically browsers that don't have JavaScript enabled. Now, if you remembered when you installed Google Tag Manager, let's go over here to view page source, you installed two codes. One code was the Tag Manager code that you should place in the head section and this is for browsers that have JavaScript enabled, which is the majority of browsers, but you also have installed a part that is beneath the opening body tag. And this is for browsers that don't have JavaScript enabled. So this is the no script portion and this is placed in the body. So it will be executed correctly. Now let's take a look at what happens here actually. If JavaScript is not enabled, this iframe will be deployed. And within this URL here, Google Tag Manager will still try to fire your tags. So it will open up the iframe on your page and try to execute the tags there. Now, obviously this is not your website. So the tags get deployed, but the information that you have on the main page is not transferred correctly. And in your tracking system, you most likely will see this as GTM app spot right here. Now, first of all, this is pretty noble that GTM tries to do this because not all browsers might have JavaScript enabled and we are still tracking them in our system. Unfortunately, this is data within Facebook advertising at least. That doesn't make a lot of sense to us. It also screws up our data. So if we look into our events, we might have inflated numbers here. We also see this in Facebook analytics where we might not make sense of any of the data that came through. So we might want to clean this up. Now, what are our possibilities here? The first possibility would be to remove the actual no script tag, which would mean that this iframe, if there's no JavaScript available, won't be opening up and therefore your code wouldn't be deployed. Now I wouldn't recommend this method because this iframe actually has a purpose for other tag vendors such as Google Analytics and AdWords that handle these exceptions much better than Facebook. But I just wanted to mention that this would be one of the possibilities. The second possibility would be actually to ignore that data. Now this data doesn't do anything to you in your Facebook account. It wouldn't inflate your audiences that you are building with the Facebook pixel because these are not real people. Now what it will do is actually it screws a bit with the data. So if you are working with Facebook analytics a lot, and you want to have clean data in this account, you might want to look to our third option. And this is explicitly telling the Facebook pixel not to be deployed on appspot.com. So how would we do this in Google Tag Manager? Let's go over to our Google Tag Manager account and look into our Facebook pixel code. So here we have our product viewed and this is our event tag that fires once we view a product. Now we have set this up with tag sequencing. If you want to check out how we did this, then have a look at the video up in the card here or in the description below. Since this is JavaScript, we can write a little bit of JavaScript to actually detect which domain we are on and then 
write a rule that prevents this script from firing on appspot.com. How would we do this? Let's go over here. I have something prepared. We simply write a little if statement, which looks at the URL. This is basically the URL and then searches for appspot.com if it's in the URL or better if it's not in the URL, our code down here will be deployed. Now we need to close this off again with a curly bracket down here. So this is the part that you need to have in there. And I'm going to write that in the description below as well. If you want to copy that, then you can save this and do this for all your different Facebook tags. So wrap your code inside of this if statement, and then you'd be ready to submit this as a version. And it would be deployed to your website. Now I don't have a good way of actually testing this unless you're using a headless browser, but I would definitely check back with your Facebook analytics data. So we have this great functionality in Facebook analytics of event debugging. So here you can say if the data that is generated at the moment gives you any kind of app spot data back. This shouldn't be the case anymore after you have installed this workaround in your Google Tag Manager account. Well, there you have it. This is how you can get rid of this appspot.com in your Facebook ads account. Now, this is just a workaround on the measurement side. It would be much easier if we had a functionality within Facebook to actually filter out such traffic that is coming into our account. But unfortunately, that is not the case yet. So if anybody is listening from Facebook, I would love to have that functionality. Now, this is just a workaround that I came up with. If you have any tips and tricks that uh, you deploy in order to uh, get rid of this app spot, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Now, if this video helped you out, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, then consider subscribing right over there because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. My name is Julian. Till next time.